I'm going to talk about CAMPs and follow this. CAMP, it comes in the uh, course name of Kinematics of Missions, which is in fourth semester paper. I'm Dr. P. S. Sambal, Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Case Ramasamy College of Technology. So, I'm uh, now we are going to discuss about CAM. So, CAM is a rotating device which is used to actuate certain mechanism when you need an automation in mechanical industry. Say, electrical timer and electronic timers, timers which uh, do certain things in a respect uh, in a certain in a periodical time. Similarly, CAM also do certain activity in a regular interval. Say, example, an IC engine. The inlet and exhaust port has to be open in certain period and uh, in uh, legs the feeding mechanism has to be done in a uh, regular interval to do automatic feeding system. Similarly, in textile industry, the power looms, the shuttles has to be moved here and there in a regular interval of period of called 180 degree. So all these things are done by CAM. So CAM is a timing device in the in mechanical. Here, it is a rotating measure element which gives either reciprocating mechanical motion or oscillating motion to another element is called a follower. The cam and follower have a line of contact and constitute a higher pair. The higher pair in the sense when the contact between the two members is area is less then it is called higher pair, area is more it is called lower pair. The cams are usually used to rotate at uniform speed by a shaft but the following motion is predetermined and it will be according to the shape of the cam. Yeah, the cam and follower is one of the simplest as well as one of the most important mechanism found in modern machinery today. The cams are widely used for operating the inlet and exhaust valves in the IC engines, automatic attachments of machinery, a power fitting machines, spinning and weaving textile machinery, feed mechanism of automatic lace. Here, this uh, area, this belt, uh, especially E Road, Namakal, and Palipalam, Kumarbalam, this is very famous for spinning mills and weaving uh, mills, where the majority of the equipments are attached with cam, so that only uh, do the repeating mechanism in a regular interval, so the cam plays a better role in this area. Next please. The classification of cam and follower, according to the surface in the continent, it is classified into four categories. One is knife edge follower, the second one is roller follower, third one is flat face or mushroom follower, fourth one is spherical face follower. Next please. This is the classification of the cam. The first one, the diagram A explains how the knife edge follower attached to the cam. The edge of the follower is in the shape of knife. It will have only reciprocating motion, up and down movement. The idea, the attachment between the cam and follower is taken care by the spring mechanism. The spring, it ensures always the follower is positioned over the cam. So that whatever the uh, projection available in the cam is traced by the follower. So in turn, the follower does some useful work to the attached mechanism. So here in the, uh, the first case, it is a knife edge follower where the same point or the single point is always connected to the follower, so there will be more wear and tear. In, in order to avoid this, the next type of follower is formed that is called water follower. So, here you can see that the, uh, here it is uh, the contact between the cam profile and the follower is a line contact. So, different lines are coming into contact over the surface of the cam. So there will be very less wear and tear. Moreover, the operation will be very smooth when compared with the knife edge follower. In the case of knife edge follower, uh, there is a chance of getting jammed but when the uh, pressure angle is very steep. But in the case of roller follower, it is not like that. And the third one is uh, cam with the flat edge follower. And the uh, surface of the uh, con surface contact between the uh, cam and follower is uh, flat, so that is called, that is why it is called flat flat face. Other it is called mushroom type of follower. The fourth one is a spherical face follower. The contact between the uh, cam and follower is area is spherical shape. That is why it is called uh, spherical. And the another E it is a uh, it is a cam with spherical face follower, but different thing. Here you can have oscillating motion. 
and uh, D you will have a reciprocating motion and uh, E you will have an oscillating type of motion and the last one is the uh, offset follower. Whatever the follower we have seen A to E it is a uh, radial cam or disc cam. The last one is the, uh, it's called offset follower. The difference between these things is if the axis of the cam and the axis of the follower falls in the same line it is called radial, follower, radial cam. If the axis of the follower and the axis of the cam is different, then it is called offset type of follower. Next please. Yeah, classification of the followers according to the motion of the followers, it is a reciprocating or translating type of followers. Uh, second one, oscillating or rotating type of follower. The other thing, according to the path of motion of the followers, one is called radial follower, the other one is called offset follower. Next please. Here, classification of camps. Here, uh, uh, we have seen radial cap or disc cap, but the other one, the cylindrical cap, we are not shown in the, that figure. Here it is a cylindrical and a cylindrical cap with a different one is reciprocating, another is oscillating type of follower. The cap profile itself it is a cylinder. In the uh, uh, cylinder, you will be enclaving certain uh, profile over it. So, based on the profile or based on the, the path in which it is created, it will either it will have a reciprocating, uh, I mean the movement will be in the reciprocating, either the movement or otherwise it is called lift or here, here in, in this case it is a horizontal movement, uh, the stroke length. It varies, depends upon the profile distance from the reference point. And uh, second one, B, it is a case where it is, uh, it is going to have oscillating type of follower, a uh, cylindrical camp with oscillating type. So, it is something like pendulum clock where it is uh, oscillated between uh, two points. Next please. So, this is a uh, cam profile. Uh, cam profile. There are certain uh, uh, nomenclatures which you should know before going for a cam or before going for a design of cam. So, there are ten, uh, 8 to 10 nomenclatures available in the So, here the blue lines are, it is for uh, the profile of the cam. So the first kind of innermost one is the camshaft. That only drives the cam. So the second one, the next immediate profile is the base circle. That is the minimum diameter which is available on the cam. Second blue circle. Third one is a cam profile. You can see that the blue circle. It is a. It shows the profile of the cam. Here it is not uniform. Yeah, in the sense whenever it is with the base profile or there is no change in its shape, uh, that means uh, uh, there won't be any actual mechanism or movement between the follower and cam. So the follower will be ideal, otherwise it is called well period. So cam will not have any motion, upward or downward motion. But whenever there is a change in uh, radial distance from the base circle to the outermost thing or it is called uh, stroke length, uh, when it is changes, the follower either lifts or it is lowers. When it is getting lifted, certain mechanism will be actuated in it. So I told you that, uh, what do you call the texture machinery, where you will, uh, the profile of the cam will not be like this, where it will have a sharp profile like a sharp edge, because it has to strike the uh, striker of the shuttle, so that the shuttle from one end to another end, it has to move fastly. So in that case, the sh shape of the cam will be a, something like a sharp edge. And uh, similarly, uh, the, when you want to change the design, in textile you have a different weaving pattern like uh, flying weave, shutting weave, fuel weave and uh, basket weave. There are various uh, weaving patterns like our jeans pan, it is a, uh, something like a, a satin weave and uh, um, some other weaves are uh, twill and basket. Whenever uh, our bed sits and all it is a basket view where one up, two down or two up, three down, something like that, the ups and downs will be different. Those things are controlled by these cap. So when it is properly attached with the certain links or certain shafts and the follower is connected respectively with the uh, cam, then you will get different pattern, uh, weaving pattern. So uh, our simple, uh, this is our shirts and all, uh, short and all, it is made up of plain weave where uh, there will be one thread will be upside and another thread will be downside this is called simply it is called one up one, one down or two up uh, yeah it is one up one down it is called uh, simply plain 
when it is having two up one down or three up one down it makes a tri uh, diagonal shape of a weaving pattern so that is called till where you can uh, find those things in your jeans where uh, three particular uh, threads has to be lifted up and one particular thread has to be in the downside so for that these uh, cam uh, cam has to be attached at the uh, bottom and the forward has to take care so uh, those things are controlled by these mechanisms and uh, other uh, where you can see the pitch point, pitch circle, um, trace point, pressure angle this definition I will give you in the next slide please yeah. here the base circle it is the smallest circle that can be drawn to the cam profile that is the part of the circle we have seen the next one is a trace point it is the reference point on the follower and it is used to generate the pitch curve uh, in case of night pitch follower the night pitch represents the, the trace point and the pitch curve uh, and the pitch curve corresponds to the cam profile in case of roller follower the center of the roller represents the trace point the next uh, uh, here is a pressure, a pressure angle it is an angle between direction of the follower motion and normal to the pitch curve otherwise this angle is very important for the design of the cam profile if the pressure angle is too large the reciprocating follower will jam in its curve next piece pitch point it is a point of the curve having a maximum pressure angle pitch circle it is a circle drawn from the center of the cam through the pitch points then a pitch curve, it is a curve generated by the trace point as the follower moves related to the cam. For a knife fish follower, the pitch curve and cam profile are the same. Whereas the, for the roller follower, they are separated by radius of the follower. Next please. Prime circle, it is the smallest circle that can be drawn from the center of the cam and uh, to the tangent of the pitch curve. For the knife fish follower and flat fish follower, the prime circle and base circle are identical or the same. For a roller follower, the prime circle is larger than the base circle by a radius of the follower. Lift or stroke, it is a maximum travel of the follower from its lowest position on the topmost position. So with that I will stop. Thank you.